Welcome to Port Angeles. Today we're going to talk about the restaurants that we have enjoyed so far in this area. This will be part one. Since we have an Airbnb here on the bluff overlooking the Strait of Juan de Fuca, all of our restaurants will be mapped from our Airbnb. One of the first questions people ask when coming to this area is where can I get really great seafood? Like many of the Washington and Oregon coastal cities, it may be a bit difficult to get really great seafood other than the normal fried and battered type. Personally, I like fresh when I can get it. The first place to consider for good seafood is the Downrigger located on the wharf in downtown Port Angeles. It is right on the water with an overlooking water view. The food is delicious and the atmosphere is pretty good. Reservations are not necessary if you plan on eating early, but if your plans are a later lunch or dinner, reservations are advisable. They have a nice menu with many choices. In the same building on the ground floor is an ice cream store that has wonderful ice cream and quite a hit with many tourists and locals during the warm summer months. Wellies uses fresh berries, which is their speciality. One place I highly recommend for you that is not in Port Angeles, but is on the Highway 101 in Blinn, just prior to passing through Squim and Port Angeles. It is just before the Seven Cedars Casino. It's called the Longhouse Market and Deli. The sandwiches they make fresh in this deli are to die for and fabulous. You have many choices from the menu, and I cannot say enough about these wonderful sandwiches. If you are traveling either way on the highway and pass through Blinn, do yourself a favor and drop by this deli. If you like Thai food, then Sabai Thai is the restaurant you will want to visit. Before you go, just know that this place is so popular, you will most definitely need reservations unless you plan to take out. The food is delicious, the atmosphere is cozy, but to be honest, they could use a larger venue since it is so popular, so I would not be surprised if one day they move to a larger building. Every time I've gone there, they have people standing outside waiting to get in. It's that good. For those that like pizza, there are many to choose from. Our favorite is West Side Pizza, across the street from Goodwill. They are a few dollars more than most, but the pizzas are incredible, and the staff is young and quite enthused. There is a store in Port Angeles and one in Squim.
those who like a buffet and like Asian food, we highly recommend the Asian Buffet. We eat there on a regular basis, and since COVID has been dying down, they've opened all of their selections once again. The food is wonderful, and there's plenty to eat. Lunch or dinner are both great times to visit. Another local Chinese restaurant we've recently tried is the Fresh Walk near the east side of Port Angeles. We weren't sure what to expect having lived and eaten in China for many years, but this place surprised us. The portions were huge and the food was very good. Though the waitresses were all non-Asian, the cooks all were. My wife and I loved the quick service and the friendly atmosphere and we definitely are going to go back. The only bad thing I can say about this area is they don't have some of the larger chain stores like Claim Jumper, Red Lobster, or Olive Garden, or any of the steakhouses and things like that. They do have a lot of smaller places that are local, but they don't have any of these large ones. Thanks for joining me. Please like and subscribe if you like this video and stay tuned for part two.